figuring out some way to stay accountable. I remember Wasim, I was emailing you. Wasim, I was like, hey, I want to do well on FE, but I'm procrastinating. I'm not being able to <laughs> develop a consistent schedule. I don't know what I responded because there's so many students <laughs> who ask so many student uh, questions. I Hopefully I provided you some feedback yeah. that was helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, Ganpat. Uh, hey, Wasim. How's everything? Congratulations on passing your uh, FE Electrical on the first attempt. This is the second time we're actually meeting uh, for my YouTube channel. Uh, the previous time when we met, you were asking about you know exam preparation strategy, and I'm in actually going to include a link to that video uh, where you asked, okay, you have about two to three months of preparation, and then you're going to take the exam in December, what you should be doing. You remember that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was very uncertain if I'll take the exam. <laughs> this year. Yeah, so what I mean, the good news is you made it happen, right? Yeah. And then I think that you followed pretty much the same advice, consolidated uh, scattered pieces of knowledge, uh, made use of the practice exams, went through the week areas a couple of times. And this is how you basically achieve the the result. So before we get started, I'd just like you to give me a little bit of brief um, overview of when you started your exam preparation, what was your motivation when you graduated, and uh, how you prepared, basically. Sure, Wasim. Yeah, definitely. So I graduated in May uh, 2021 from University of Illinois. I studied electrical engineering there. And um, so I started my so I started to work since June, and I started my preparation uh, in February 27th, 2022, while working. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I ended up uh, taking the exam December uh, 20, December 12th, 2022. So, Almost 10 months. Yeah, I took yeah. 10 months, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You got the job done in the first attempt, so yeah, that's so. that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I, I have to say when I first started out, I, I, um, first I underestimated how much, what is the consistency should look like. Of studying? Yeah, of studying. I underestimated that. And um, so I was doing it like, you know, one hour every two days, which wasn't right. going to cut it because no. I realized the uh, amount of uh, lecture and content. Mm -hmm. um, but I also knew how difficult the exam was. So I'm glad there was opportunities to study and prepare for an exam like that. Um, sure. So when I, I think after a month or two months in, um, that's when I started to get one hour, one hour a day in. Right. And then when I started to join your life training, it started to speed up to, I think I joined your life training April, April okay. no, June, June or something. Then I started to bump it to two hours a day. Yeah, you were originally on my, in my on-demand program only, correct? Yeah. And yeah. then you signed up for the live training, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. So, not, yeah. so you, University of Illinois, I know, is a very good school. Uh, they're well known for electrical engineering, actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, would it be fair to say that this is by far the most difficult exam that you had to prepare for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> It was it was definitely the most difficult uh, exam, um, because in 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 every uh, top school, it, most exams are like topic specific. Of course, on just a few things, right? Yeah, like in my um, uh, power uh, in my in my electronic circuits course, the same NP and BJT, the professor will cover probably only half of the circuit problems. Yes, because that's what he could test that midterm yes. or the second midterm. Yeah, and exactly. and. Yeah, and we don't have to study power systems with circuits, right? We just have to study electronics. For sure, for sure. And, uh, so he, this was in a test that uh, it tested our mastery in like almost 17 topics, right? Was he yeah, right? entire undergraduate engineering. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> I, I agree. I mean, I've I've also done, you know, graduate studies as well. And I've never taken any exam more difficult than the FE and the B exam. I mean, I've taken exams where I walked out of the exam thinking, you know, what what the heck happened there, right? <laughs> but but that was just by surprise, right? You know, like you you were preparing for something and then something else comes up and you're like, you know what, I probably should have studied study something else. But this exam, you started out in February. <laughs> the more you studied for it, the more you realize how difficult it is, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and then you had to study for 10 months and even then, you know, a lot of students don't feel 100% comfortable. 
So that's the that's what you're up against, right? And I feel no shame in saying that, you know, this is a tough exam because <clears throat> once you realize that, then you can bring up your level of effort to match that. If you're complacent about it and if you're delusional, you will be surprised on the exam just like how sometimes during your undergraduate or grad studies or in high school or, you know, some of the exams you get surprised then maybe I didn't study enough. So it's good to have this reality check up front because it is a tough exam. So how what was the progression of your exam preparation, um, Ganpat? Like you, you started with like one hour every other day and then one hour daily, and then you got into my life training. Um, I do realize that, you know, initially um, seemed like you're playing a little bit of a catch up game, especially with some of the topics like circuit analysis, I know offline we had some discussion. I told you that you need to go a little bit deeper in some of the concepts and that I'm able to do with my life training students because I can see like on a weekly basis how they're doing. But how did you how did you basically achieve the result that you ended up achieving at the end? And what did you have to do along the way? I uh, yeah, de- definitely was I I believe I I have to attribute to uh, some of the coaching calls uh, I've had with you as well. Uh, on I and trying to identify how to build momentum, and uh, the 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 reason the live training was good because you kept us accountable. You had homework assignments, uh, they were due every week, right? So now we had to put in effort before that weekly goal, and that was what I didn't have, did not have. There was a large goal passing FE exam, but what should I do weekly? Yeah, yeah, and and that's what small that small steps, training, those small like steps that. that you small wins that you have to have along the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I remember I was done with only fifty percent in mid July, mid June, mid July. I was fifty percent done with the on demand, and uh, but from July till October, I think that three four months I was done with hundred percent, and yeah. uh, around the mid June is when I took your live training. So, so I um, so I was able to do twice as much work in the last four months of the of the preparation. Than the first five. That's months, typical. Five six months. Yeah, yeah that's typical. That they say the you know more than fifty percent of the stuff uh, of any of any any project is done in the last ten percent of the time, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that that's very common. Um, and in terms of uh, some of the pain points, for example, the computer sections, the typical you know the regular culprits. So your computer networks, software systems, control systems, digital systems. Uh, those type of computer engineering software related topics. Uh, how did you cope with them? Yeah, that's a that's a good point. That's a, a good question. So my knowledge of computer networks from University of Illinois was zero percent. So okay. that's the one one class I decided not to take ever. <laughs> so, right. And now I have now I'm confronted with it at the FE uh, electrical. So I um so so I definitely went through all of your videos and on demand, but more than going through the videos, I needed to solve problems, practice problems. So yeah. <clears throat> so when I was so the study guide helped. Questions on the study guide. And yeah, the, that's this book. You also use yeah. this. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Second edition of the st- third edition of the study guide. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when when the information and facts was a lot of information to digest, I needed to apply it some in some way. So the questions in the study guide helped. The questions in your practice exams also helped. Like let's say I didn't understand what packet switching was. Yeah. Um, now I can uh, not only solve that question and learn the answer, but I can go back to the section on uh, network devices, packet switching, uh, authentication. Right. That was packed on the on demand. And now now that it's going back to those videos, the content made much better now. Sense. Right. So it's a it's a it's a feedback loop, right? You learn the theory mm-hmm. and then you look for ways to apply it. And within the course, I have over one thousand practice problems when you consider the mini exams, the quizzes, the computer similar practice exam. And then on top of that, you also use the study guide. Uh, so a combination of practice and theory got the job done for you. Now, if you can briefly share your exam day experience, uh, what approach did you use in order to, you know, work through 110 questions in terms of time management? Uh, sh- sure, Wasim. So on the day of the exam, what happened or um, the last three, four days before the exam? I'm sure leading up to the exam and then on the day of actual exam as well. Sounds good, Wasim. Yeah, so I, I think um, 
three weeks before the exam and uh, and I think uh, yeah, that's when I start to do practice tests. So first practice tests. And again, if I think it depends on people's schedules, maybe starting a month or two months before would be better. Um, but I finished my maybe first practice. Before, maybe three to four. Three to four weeks is not bad, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three to four weeks. And so uh, third week got the first practice test done. Every time I took a practice, I was only scoring uh, 60, 70% <laughs> right fine. on the first attempt. And, and then I reviewed the problems, did it again. Of course, the score is much higher, 95%. That's what happened for the first two practice exams. And the week before I took the NCES FE sample. So I took two of your practice exams at the yeah. on demand. And then, then I took the NCES FE sample exam. I scored a little bit better, 70 to 80%. But I did something different. Instead of just learning the answers, now I decided to go back to the videos. Right, the, the lectures, yeah. Mm -hmm. The lectures, yeah. And, and that helped me cover a lot of more gap in right. a short span of time. And um. Yeah, and and that was what was happening. I think last couple of days, I was I was I was done with that three days before the exam, uh, yeah. reviewing the videos and and finishing that practice test. That's last great. couple of days, I was just going through concepts again. That's uh, great. What did not make sense? Uh, what where did I struggle in the ex question? Why did I struggle? Um, the day of the exam, I didn't study. I was I took the afternoon session, like two p.m. to eight p.m. Sure. So I didn't study on the day of the exam. I went there 30 minutes earlier. Pearson just let me start my exam 30 minutes earlier. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, and, uh, and, and yeah, it was, um, yeah, the, during, during the exam, what I definitely learned is that it's okay to flag questions that we're not sure of as long as right. we had some answers. Okay. Right. Question 10, I think the answer is B, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I'll put B, uh, flag it right. for review. And uh, I finished the morning session. I had about seven flagged questions. That's not bad at all. Yeah. 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 And the rest, I was pretty sure of my answer. Um, uh, and then I moved on to the next section. I took just two breaks, five minute breaks to go to the bathroom. Okay. First and second section. Second section, I had, I think, about another seven or eight flagged questions. I see. Yeah, that's pretty good. And um, yeah. so you manage your time pretty well in terms of the number of flags that you have. That's actually really impressive because if you're fairly sure on the remaining ones that basically means that um there was very little on the exam that sort of bothered you too much right yeah uh, and that's yeah. a great place to be yeah. uh yeah again many congratulations can but you're in my p power program now uh again you signed up for both the on-demand plus live training uh it's starting in a few weeks time uh, so I look forward to helping you getting P power done in the first attempt as well. This time around, hopefully it won't take you 10 months. <laughs> we'll compress it. <laughs> now you know how to study uh, for these exams. P power is a little bit different exam, a little bit more in depth. Uh, we have to go into the nuts and bolts of a lot of things as compared to FE, where we have to sort of cast a wider net. And in some cases, maybe even gloss over some of the intricate details. But for P power, we cannot afford to do that. And mm -hmm. we'll discuss uh, exam preparation strategy for P power in a lot of detail. Uh, mm -hmm. My last question is, uh, do you have any advice for students who are procrastinating or still thinking about taking the FE exam and not able to build up that courage, that confidence to dive into it? How would you, uh, what would you recommend them? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was definitely me the first <laughs> three, four <laughs> months. <laughs> My FE prep, yeah, I, yeah, I, I found that it's normal, it's human to procrastinate on things. Uh, but I found a find figuring out some way to stay accountable. I remember Wasim, I was emailing you. Oh, yeah. Wasim, I was like, hey, I want to do well on FE, but yeah. I'm procrastinating. I'm not being able to <laughs> develop a consistent schedule. I don't know what I responded because there's so many students <laughs> who ask so many student uh, questions. I hopefully I. Provided you some feedback yeah. that was helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so communicating with you about the issues I was having in my prep changed it because then you, I think you had a short call with me and uh -huh. uh, you, sh you shared some advice and tips that were working. And then I decided to join your live training and that changed. Right. It because now there are a lot of people interacting every week to solve yeah. those same homework problems. Yeah. The, for you, I think specifically the accountability helped a lot yeah. because you were able to stay on track with the live training even if you're not doing the homework on a weekly basis, which I keep on reminding my students that to get the most value out of the live training, try to keep up with the homework. Some students show up to the class and then see how I solve the stuff. That's perfectly fine, but um, it does give you that additional structure. Yeah. And I think 
that's that that probably contributed towards your success as well yeah, good, awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay all right thanks a lot for your time Ganpat. and uh hopefully we'll get the p power done as well and you'll be here back again uh, and we'll be discussing your successful p power journey very soon mm -hmm.